Hey folks, Roland Martin here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, today's a special day. I'm going to tell you how I think you can catch a 10 pound bass. Now that's, that's really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some big giant fish just like I caught the other night. Okay, so let's talk about this area. We're in Lake Garcia and it's, uh, it's, it's the middle of June. The water temperature is 84, 85 degrees. It's, uh, night's coming on and I'm going to show you how I'm going to night fish. Okay, for this whopper plopper, it's an open water lure, so I can't fish it in the hydro, I can't fish it in the lily pads, and I'm, and I'm gonna have to fish in open water. But these little cuts along the canal are perfect. Like we're in a little opening right here. And as the wind blows, these how the wind's blowing like this, it's pushing water and pushing current down through here. So this is a good, good spot at night to throw that whopper plopper in these cuts along the canal. This is just a perfect spot for a big bass. And just kind of come through there, listen to it, making a lot of noise. A great, great choice. This is a great, great choice. Now, you know, t there's not just a million 10 pound bass. 10 pound bass are kind of hard to come by. And you say, well, Roland, I've, I've made 10 casts, I haven't caught a 10 pound bass. <laughs> Let me tell you about 10 pound bass. You gotta make a thousand casts to catch a 10 pound bass in the right places. You just don't catch them every night. In fact, that one the 10 pound, eight ounce bass I caught two nights ago, uh, I, you know, I probably won't catch one like that for another couple weeks or so. But hopefully I'll catch one tonight. Now, I, I got all the right stuff for catching big fish. And I've caught them up to 12 pounds at night, and I've caught a number of 10s and a number of 9s and a number of 8s. So there's some really quality fish to be, be had at night. Bigger than the daytime. Bigger fish at night than the daytime. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's a choice. Let's just talk about, I'm getting down to my really good stuff. Now, before I go any farther, I've shown you two topwater plugs. I've always told you when I'm fishing my devil's horse, when I'm fishing my whopper ploppers, when I'm fishing my frogs, I'm fishing any top water, I always have a Cinco backup. Now why is that? At night they're famous for missing the plug. You're gonna miss fish. So you're gonna have to have a big worm. Okay, I got a big worm. This is the big six ounce, six inch Cinco. It's heavy. I got a little sixteenth of an ounce weight just to kind of help it go through the heavy stuff. It's a big five aught uh, EWG Gamagatsu hook. 50 pound braid, again braid. This is another thing. I have braid on nothing but my rods that I fish at night. I've, I've co completely eliminated monofilament. I've completely eliminated for fluorocarbon. I'm only using braid in either 50 on the worm, 65 on those other stuff. 50 and 65 is, is as light as I go. Okay. Now, when I get a strike, of course, I have this worm rod ready. It's a backup. I usually have it right up front, like in, a, in an easy casting area. It's dark. I don't know where it is. I know it's right here. So as I'm fishing, if I miss a, a fish, I just pick it up. I know it's right there. Throw it to about where I think the, the fish hit and always throw past the, the, where you heard the fish to hit, you know, or where you think it is. Throw past it a little ways. Just work it slow and easy. And hopefully, hopefully they'll find it. But have a backup Cinco no matter what you do. Always have a backup Cinco. Now some people fish worms at night. I don't like to fish worms at light, night. I just, it's kind of, kind of slow moving. I like to use power baits. I like to use spinner baits and buzz baits and top water plugs and, and things like that at night. That's just kind of, kind of the way I do. But I have the backup worm, this big Cinco. Now that's, that's not the five inch, that's the six inch. It weighs like twice as much. So it's going to be a big deal. Okay, let's get down to some really neat stuff now. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to show you some good night fishing technique here in a second. Okay, here's another one. Oh, Barry Maynard, he's my really good friend from Decatur, Alabama. Barry has caught bass out of, out of Lake Wheeler, which is in Tennessee. His biggest was 11 and a half pounds. His second biggest was 10 and three quarters. His third biggest was 10 and a half. He's caught any number of bass over 10 pounds. And he's had a couple things about it. Number one, use a black spinnerbait. I'm going with Barry's, Barry's recommendation. The other thing that Barry likes to do is he likes to use a, a Hildebrandt blade. A Hildebrandt makes blades, and they, all kind of people make blades. But it seems like the Hildebrandt blade, for whatever reason, is a better blade. It just makes more vibration. Now. 
he, he, I've taken a standard Roland Martin Big Bass spinnerbait and I've cut it back down and I have done a couple things here. Number one, this is that heavy wire model and I've gotten the, I've gotten the twisted thing. So if that should break, what will happen, it'll always, this end will always break and this, and this part here with the hook tie will always be attached to the head. So if the spinnerbait breaks, you'll still have the fish. You'll still have this hook. The second thing I'm doing that's really, really important on a spinnerbait is a trailer hook. I got a trailer hook on here, okay? Now I can use this with or without a body. This happens to be the Yamamoto frog, the Yama frog. And it's just it's just kind of a larger profile because remember at night they're looking up at that thing and they're doing they see something like this frog profile. That's kind of a big deal. You can use a skirt. Some people use skirts and skirts are fine. The profile baits like a frog or something on that order is also fine. But this is a number six Hildebrand spinner, number six. That's a big thumping spinner bait. Now I just want you to watch something. I want you to watch this. This is unlike a willow leaf. Now everybody's now normally using, let me just show you the standard spinner bait. This is the Roland Martin Big Bass spinner bait right here. And this is uh, made by Megastrike and it's one of their really cool uh, half ounce models. And, and to have made that spinnerbait I just showed you, I'd, I'd cut that down. I'd cut this wire a little shorter. The willow leaf doesn't have the vibration that the big Colorado has. That big number six Colorado makes a bigger vibration than even this big uh, number five willow leaf. That's a number five willow leaf blade. It spins good in the wind and you think it's making a lot of noise. But this number six Colorado is even. It, maybe it doesn't spin as good in the wind, but it's still spinning in the wind. It makes a big thump. Now watch my rod tip. Watch this rod tip. I'm going to throw it out there. And I'm going to throw it out there. Watch the rod tip. Look at the rod tip. Look at that, look at that thump. You see that thump on the rod tip? Rod tip's going crazy. That's because it, that blade is really rocking. It's rocking and rolling. It's a rocking and rolling spinnerbait. Okay. Now, again, you might say, well, what kind of rod and reel complement is this? This is like, this is the Pro Series. This is the big seven foot. Actually, it's a seven six. It's a flipping stick, really. You could go a little lighter, but don't, you, don't forget the braid. You gotta have braid, you gotta have braid. Now, I'm not gonna reel this real deep. This water is not that deep in here. Of course, I got a depth finder. The water's, what, as deep as that reel, but the fish are looking up and they see the profile of that spinnerbait. And we're in this little canal right here, so it's a little deeper here than it is over in those lily pads. The lily pads are a little shallower. I can, I'm throwing to the edge of stuff and with, this, with the trailer hook, I can go through the hydrilla pretty good. I can go through some lily pads pretty good. Uh, and I'm kind of working the open areas is, is a little bit. I'm, it's not a completely weedless thing. But I am looking for the kind of a little bit of an open water situation. Again, these cuts in the canals, like right here, is just a perfect situation because the current is kind of flowing through there. I'm going to throw back there. And I'm going to just kind of slow roll it. Now, when you what's slow roll? Let's just talk about slow rolling a spinnerbait for a second. And all slow rolling is is just going slow with the spinnerbait. It's just slow rolling because as you do it, that blade is, is just rolling around. Slow rolling. Okay, so that's kind of a, a good choice of a spinnerbait. It's the regular Roland Martin spinnerbait, cut a little bit shorter. And by the way, look at this. This is hardware here. Here, this is what's so cool about this. I've made this extra heavy. It's extra heavy stainless wire. It's an extra heavy large swivel. It's an extra heavy. Everything's extra heavy. Extra heavy. Uh, everything. Everything's extra heavy. Here, here's my secret deal. Oh, son, a big black buzz bait. Woo! That's a great big spinner, great big uh, buzz bait spinner. It's another little kind of spinner on the back. It's got a big trailer hook, a three-aught trailer hook, a four-aught or five-aught regular hook. This is a half ounce. Uh, this is actually the Booyah, the Booyah Counter Strike. And look at the thick, 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 thick stainless wire. That's enough for a million pound bass. That's a really heavy stainless wire that just would, would, would hold up with anything. 65 pound test braid, big heavy pro series uh, heavy rod, <laughs> oh boy.
eight to one ratio reel. And look at this. Well, look, look at this. This is such a cool lure. This is such a cool lure. Listen to it. It's making a lot of noise. Hear it? That's making noise, son. That's making noise. That's what I caught that 10-8 on the other night. He hit it about that close, about that close to the boat. I had him on this rod, 65-pound braid. It was, it was, it wasn't hard to land that fish. It really wasn't hard because I had the right tackle and the right thing. And here's another thing that you need to have. Let me just show you some things you need to have for night fishing. Number one, you need a good net because you were dealing with big sharp hooks and we're dealing with treble hooks. So I got a net ready to go. Okay, I don't always use a net, but for night fishing, it's, it's pretty much a must. Okay, the second thing you need, you need, uh, I, use, I use this light here in my phone a lot because I can hit the flashlight series and now I can put the flashlight on at night and that helps and that illuminates things. But, you know, I showed you that, that, that stick, this, this light stick right here is just so, so cool. That is so cool and it's rechargeable. I can plug it in to the regular boat system and it recharges it and I can turn it off and on a little bit lighter and I just have all kind of neat things here. So that's, and it also it has this particular, uh, this particular stick. This is called the Power Stick by YOLO. Power Stick by Lo YOLO. And that thing is really cool because no matter what camera system you have or if you can plug your phone in, there's a deal for the iPhone. There's a deal for uh, the old style GoPro. There's, a, uh, there's the new uh, C connector for the new style GoPros. All this can be plugged in now and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. And it all comes through with the USB connector right here. So, so this is all really good stuff. That's really, really a fine, fine setup. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this box for one more time. Let's see some of these other combinations that I have here. I'm about ready to take off and go and start my night fishing career here on this lake. I've never fished this, this particular lake at night. I fish a few of the lakes like Okeechobee. I fish, uh, I fish Stick Marsh at night. I fish Keenansville at night. I fish Lake Jackson at night uh, up at uh, here in South Florida. And then there are also Lake Kissimmee and Lake Toho. All those lakes are just, just fine lakes. Lake uh, Panasofki is a great night fishing lake. Uh, oh, there's just so many of them, it's just unreal. Okay, let's look at some of these things. Now, regular spinner baits will work, and even these red bladed ones. Now here's, here's one by a, uh, by, it's, it's the uh, uh, Cavatron series, and I endorsed the Cavatrons for years, and so it has a clacker system. And so I've painted it black, that's the half ounce a Cavatron, it really, really makes a lot of noise, and with that clacker, it makes a lot of noise. And so again, I'll put a trailer hook on there. I'll either put a body, like a frog body, or even a big skirt. So that's that's a good combination there. Another combination is uh, is this double buzz. Let me show you this thing. This is a different kind of a deal entirely. That is a double buzz buzz bait, and that seems to work good. And that's made by Booyah. And again, I put a trailer hook on it. Again, I'll put a, a maybe a, 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 a large profile frog kind of body. Again, heavy tackle. This is a big, big, big time buzz bait. Well, that's just a few of the things that I have. I've made up some other spinner baits of different sizes. You know, I showed you that number six, but you can go with the number five. In fact, when I talked to Barry Maynard that's caught so many bass out of the Tennessee River deal, what what Barry uses is basically a number five blade. And that's a little bit smaller blade, a little bit smaller spinner. And that's kind of what he, what he uses. I'm gonna give, a, give you a whole lot more information in, in other YouTubes about night fishing. This is just kind of a primer. All this is today is just to show you some of the lures that I'm using, some of the casting techniques I'm using, the basic setup itself. And so that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing a lot more night fishing as, as this year progresses, and I'm gonna show you some monster bass, and I'm gonna explain very fully how you can catch your personal best of all times. Hey, thanks for watching these videos, 
Hey, I'm hoping I help you out. I'm an old school teacher at heart. I love doing them. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that likes button. We'll see you again soon.